Hey guys, this is Matt Brunet, and welcome to Movie News Weekly, hosted by Filmbook. Now before we begin, let's take a look at what we got in this week's news, which includes fantastic box office scores and where to find them, Miyazaki out of retirement number 3 or 4, the time for a wrinkle in time, who else is in the unicorn store, Steve could be playing some games, no one gets views like Gaston, a movie sponsored by the letter S, a pig and a fox friendship will last longer, Willem Dafoe's DC character, and who will bring Winnie the Pooh back to his owner. So with that said, let's get things started. Now that people got their Marvel magic, now they ask for some fresh Hogwarts magic. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them made it into first place at the box office during the weekend with $75 million. Although impressive for this month, it is the weakest opening when you compare it to the eight other Harry Potter movies, not even surpassing The Order of the Phoenix, which opened with $77 million. This will also bump down the two big November starters, Doctor Strange and Trolls, into second and third place respectively with $17.5 million each, with the Doctor slightly making more. Meanwhile, the other new movies this week, The Edge of Seventeen and Bleed for This, started off on the really low end with Seventeen only making about $5 million and Bleed with more than $2 million. Ahead of them include Arrival with almost $12 million, Almost Christmas with $7 million, and Hacksaw Ridge with almost $7 million. Let's face it, he's just gonna make movies until he dies. In the Japanese special The Man Who Is Not Done, acclaimed director of Spirited Away and My Neighbor Totoro, Hayao Miyazaki, revealed that he is planning to create another animated feature. In the special, he discussed that he was not satisfied with the animated short he was working on, Borrow the Caterpillar, and proposed an idea to make a feature to producer Toshio Suzuki. Although the movie has yet to be greenlit, he is currently working on the storyboards. What makes this news surprising for fans was that after the release of his last film, The Wind Rises, he formed a press conference to announce that he will retire from making any more animated features. However, some fans may not be surprised because that was not the first time he declared retirement. Borrow the Caterpillar is set to be done next year and to be shown exclusively at the Ghibli Museum in Japan. Hey look, they made a point out of that weird trending thing. Disney released a viral video showing the crew and some of the cast performing the Mannequin Challenge, where everybody stands still in a pose while someone is filming them to present an entire scenario, which in this case is to show everyone getting ready for the film A Wrinkle in Time. However, at the end of the video, after showing director Ava DuVernay and actress Strom Reeve, they show a script that Reed was holding that reveals the release date for the spring of 2018. Other actors that will be appearing in the movie include Reese Witherspoon, Chris Pine, Mindy Kaling, and Oprah Winfrey. A Wrinkle in Time will be coming out on April 6, 2018. The stars are just flocking over to the store now. The cast of Unicorn Store has now grown to also include Bradley Winford, Joan Cusack, and Samuel Jackson. They will be joining Brie Larson, who will both star and make her directorial debut, using a script done by Ruben Fletcher. The story is about an adult woman who moved back with her parents, got an invitation to open a store that will show her the true meanings of being a grown-up. Production on the feature starts this month, and both Jackson and Larson will be seen together in Kong Skull Island when that movie will be released on March 10th, 2017. The man who will wear the diamond armor could be chosen. Warner Brothers is now in talks with Steve Carell in order to star in the Minecraft movie. Based on the 2009 gaming phenomenon where players can customize their own world with cubes, the company bought the rights in February from Swedish developer Mojang AB. Warner Brothers then went to get Wonder Woman writer Rob McElhenney to come and direct the feature. Recently, Carell was presented in the Woody Allen feature Cafe Society and just finished production on The Battle of the Sexes where he played Bobby Riggs. Minecraft will be making its big screen debut on May 25th, 2019. Everybody wanted to be a guest for those two glorious minutes. The first full trailer of Disney's live action reboot of Beauty and the Beast set a brand new record for the most viewed trailer in a span of 24 hours with 127.6 million views. This beats out the previous records held by Fifty Shades Darker that got 114 million and Star Wars The Force Awakens with 112 million. 
The new trailer was noted to give the audiences their first look at the new versions of the characters, including The Beast, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. The trailer also managed to be a big hit on social media as it got a combining total of 56 million views on Facebook. The tale as old as time will be retold on March 17th, 2017. Can you tell me how to get, how to get up to the big screen? Warner Brothers has appointed writers David Guillen and Michael Handelman to work on the script for a Sesame Street movie. Both Guillen and Handelman have a reputation as writers to work on several comedies, including Dinner for Schmucks, Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, and the upcoming The Understudy, starring Will Ferrell. There has yet to be a director, plot, narrative, or a release date revealed about the feature, but this will mark as the third movie with the beloved Sesame Street characters after 1985's Follow That Bird and The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. The Oscars won't be the last time you'll hear about this project. 20th Century Fox Animation is teaming up with Tonko House in order to turn the Oscar-nominated animated short The Dam Keeper into a feature film. Fox's job will be to distribute the film worldwide, while the founders of Tonko House and the men responsible for the short, Daisuke Daisusumi and Robert Kondo, will direct the film with a script by John Henry Hinkle. The purpose of the film will be to expand both the characters and the world of the Dam Keeper, which is about a shy pig whose job is to protect his town from pollution, making a new friend with a fox. Tonko House is developing the Dam Keeper as a big franchise, with not just a movie, but also a graphic novel trilogy and a 10-episode series on Hulu Japan. His DC role is finally unveiled. During an interview, Willem Dafoe revealed that he will be Volko, Aquaman's advisor and a politician in Atlantis, starting with Justice League. He stated, Justice League is very particular because it's an ensemble movie and my character is being introduced here in order to be a principal role in Aquaman. These films are a different experience. They have different responsibilities, different resources, and different intentions. It's nice to go between those worlds if you can. They serve different impulses. The first part of Justice League will be coming out on November 17th, 2017, while Aquaman's solo film will be out on July 27th, 2018. Here's someone to guide us through the Hundred Acre Woods. Mark Foster has signed on with Disney in order to direct Christopher Robin, based on Disney's adaptation of Winnie the Pooh. With a script written by Alex Ross Perry, sources state that the story will be about the titular character returning to the Hundred Acre Woods as an adult, and the tone is described to be a more family-friendly version of Seth MacFarlane's Ted. This is one of the many projects Disney has planned to turn their classic animated features into live-action reboots, including Dumbo, Aladdin, The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and many more. This will not be the only upcoming project based on the works of A.A. A. Milne, Fox Searchlight is making a biographical feature called Goodbye Christopher Robin that looks into the real life of the boy starring Domhnall Gleeson and Margaret Robbie as the parents. And that's all I've got for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to head on down to film-book.com for all the latest movie and TV news along with their columns on the box office and their theatrical release schedule. Also, you can follow them on whatever social media you'd like. And while you're at it, you can follow me on my YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter if you're more into stuff like animation, Disney, and my weird sense of humor. If you were watching this on YouTube, then hit that like button and come subscribe to us, and also leave a little comment on what you think on the news this week. If you were listening to this on a podcast on iTunes or any other podcast service, then don't forget to rate and review what you just heard. Tune in next time for another round of Movie News Weekly, and until next week, see you later, dudes!